Danny Gasparini and welcome to this segment of Penn Voice. I am joined today by Maureen Frisquette, who is former mayor and current city council member for the city of San Mateo. Maureen, welcome. Hi, Danny. It's great to be here. Um, you just reminded me that the last time we chatted about what we're going to talk about today was in um, 2012. But we're going to let all our viewers um, know about Operation, and it's called Operation Eagle Visit, which is very important to the city of San Mateo. So tell us a little bit about that. Yes, Operation Eagle Visit is actually a celebration of the 50th anniversary of the city of San Mateo adopting the 101st Airborne Screaming Eagles. And we did that back in 1968. So this is a big celebration with 50 troops coming from the Army um, back to San Mateo so we can celebrate um, that relationship we've had with them for so many years. And we should tell our viewers that um, San Mateo was one of the first cities in the, um, in the county to adopt um, a unit, a military unit that was involved in the Vietnam War. Um, tell us a little bit about, you know, taking us back to 1968. Well, you weren't on the council, um, but um, some of the folks that um, brought that to San Mateo, what was, what was the importance of it then? Well, I think what happened was that uh, Linda Patterson, mm -hmm. um, her brother, Sergeant Joseph Artavia, was in Vietnam. And at that time, there was the really heavy anti-war sentiment. Right. A lot of the um, soldiers were feeling kind of depressed. There was a lack of morale because they didn't feel they were being supported. So he wrote to her and said, can you do something to help? And so she came before the San Mateo City Council and asked that they consider adopting um, the, the 101st uh, Airborne. Born unit. And uh, the city of San Mateo, I'm proud to say, stepped up to the plate and said, yes, we're going to do that. And so part of the outreach was into the community to get uh, volunteers and schools and churches to start writing. Uh, one of the things I'm really proud of is that at the time I was in eighth grade, I was student body president at St. Gregory's, and we really launched the first, I think, campaign of a school to really do letter writing and sending items back um, to the troops. So I've kind of been involved in this myself for right. 50 years. It must feel really um, amazing to be part of that full circle. Um, when you remember back um, when you were in the eighth grade and then now being on the city council and honoring still um, our memories and those that are still with us for the 101st Airborne. It is a special year. It's the 50th year in honoring the 101st Airborne Unit. So um, in the past, you've done parades, you've done various events just to ensure that the memory um, and the celebration and those that you want to honor stay um, relevant and alive in San Mateo. Um, tell us about what this is going to look like, what this celebration is going to look like. Well, this celebration is not just with San Mateo. Right. I'm really excited that in addition to San Mateo, there are eight other cities in the county that have uh, since adopted units from the 101st, and that would be Atherton, San Carlos, Belmont, Foster City, Burlingame, San Bruno, Hillsborough, and Millbury. And so we're collaborating with them. So the 50 troops that are coming are going to have all, um, troops uh, representing each of those cities. So there's going to be four days of activities. The troops are going to arrive on March 22nd. And there will be an opening reception ceremony with them. They'll be greeted at the airport. And then uh, there will be something at the History Museum. And then on Friday, each of the cities will have a community day where they get together with their own soldiers mm -hmm. and kind of show them their city. And then there is going to be a big parade in downtown San Mateo on the 24th in the morning at 11 o'clock. And that'll be followed by um, a big event in Central Park with booths and food and celebrations and opportunities for citizens to, and the kids in the community to actually meet all the soldiers and talk with them. So originally they were from um, the communities that you named off. Um, and now if, might be living elsewhere or have uh, moved out of our communities. Um, and you're bringing them back for this celebration. Well, there are troops that were here in 19, that originally came 40 years ago. Mm -hmm. when we did the first celebration, right. homecoming. Right. So, uh, I, and I still remember that. I think that was in 1972 when right. we welcomed our division back. And there was, um, it was a, a great, uh, there was a parade, there was a big celebration, people welcomed the soldiers into their homes. Right. So some of those actual soldiers will be coming to this parade. Right. In uh, addition to that, there will be others. In addition to 50 young men from Fort Campbell. And, you know, San Mateo has uh, continuously kept this relationship going for 50 years. Uh, two years ago, I went back to Fort Campbell with um, our then mayor, Joe Gothels, and our city clerk, Patrice Old. And we were honored, uh, we were made honorary members of the 327th Infantry. I think we're the only city that's ever been given that honor. And we were the first city in the nation to adopt um, a unit during the Vietnam 
become more and continue with that. So more so than just in the county and in the state. Absolutely, it was, it was, absolutely. Um, throughout the nation. Mm -hmm. So what has it meant for you, not only as a city council member, but for your residents and for this community to still be part of this remembrance and continuing not only the Vietnam War remembrance, but also to, to continue to support our troops as they fight so hard for our freedoms and peace? I think it's, um, people really get the sense that they're doing something really special for mm -hmm. our troops. Um, it's just giving them that support. And when you talk with them, they tell you how much it means to them when they get those care packages. And when their units mm -hmm. deploy and we send care packages and letters, they look forward to that. Mm -hmm. It's really special for them. So I think it's the celebration of our patriotism in many ways. And it's, I think one of the things I was always so proud of San Mateo when other cities were shunning our troops coming mm -hmm. back, we stood up and said, hey, we're here with you, we support you. You're, you know, you've answered the call that your country put out to help serve. And so even today, these young people are going and they're serving our country and our citizens. And I think it's just that opportunity to thank them and show gratitude that, you know, we appreciate the sacrifice you're making right. and that your families are making to keep us safe. Well, I think I appreciate also, the, as you had mentioned, the city of San Mateo staying so dedicated to um, this kind of honor and celebration because you know as as your daily life and we didn't even get into this as your daily life as a city council member it's full with very relevant and complex issues today housing and transportation just to name two so to ensure that you're remembering and honoring those who serve our community on a greater level, not just here locally as our law enforcement does locally, and we appreciate them so much, but even on a national and global level, I really um, have to admire and thank San Mateo for continuing and that work. One of the things I really hope to get across today is that I really, uh, we want people in the community to participate. Right, we have all over, parade. everywhere. We want everyone in the county to participate. We are looking for people to participate in the parade, whether it's dance troops or uh, nonprofits, schools. Um, people have till March 5th to really get into the parade. And if you can't be in the parade, there's opportunities to um, buy a meal for a soldier because we're underwriting all the costs. So we're looking for sponsors to help us with that. But also if individually people can buy a meal, whether it's breakfast, lunch, dinner, for a soldier. Um, they can go onto our website and find out the many ways that they can help support this. So we, we really want people to come out and right. help us celebrate. So where will the parade route be? It will be on B Street. Mm -hmm. So it'll start at 11 in San Mateo on B Street and it'll end up in Central Park. And that's where we'll have the food booths and um, there'll be um, music and ways for people to celebrate and to engage one-on-one -on -one with all the different soldiers that'll be there, those from the past as well as the current ones that are coming out. Right, and I think um, what I'm hearing from you is if this interview sparks any kind of interest, either on a participation level or um, on a donor level or a sponsorship level, just jump on your website because more information can be had there. And, and don't, don't assume that you don't have the ability to help donate or even participate. Just call and um, figure out how you might be able to Absolutely. support the organization. Absolutely. There's the so day. many ways people can get involved in this. And we really want this to be, um, it's, it's nine cities participating. Right. But we really want the whole county involved. Right. So one of the things that we can do here at Penn TV is make sure that we broadcast this um, uh, as many times as we can before your critical dates. But even after your critical date of March 4th um, in finding participants for the parade, just make sure that people know the date of the parade and where it starts and how they can And there's also a gala after the parade. Mm -hmm. That evening there's a big gala so people can come to the banquet and help us uh, honor our troops there as well. So it, going to the website's the best way to get all the information, but there's many, many ways people can participate in these four days of activities. Great, thank you so much Maureen for joining us. And we, um, please take back to the rest of your colleagues on the San Mateo City Council and those that um, are in San Mateo and all of the nine cities that you mentioned for honoring our, um, our troops and um, especially remembering our 101st Airborne. Thank you, Danny. I appreciate this opportunity to be able to talk about this. Thanks, Maureen. And we'll see you and all of you next time on Penn Voice.